Richard. Um, if you, uh, if I'm sitting in a uh, in a planning meeting at C at CISA, uh, and uh, we're talking about sort of the next evolution, you know, 3.0 of CDM, what does that look like? What What are you expecting to do? What do you have in the in the hopper over the next two and three years that you want to take down? Assuming all these other things you're doing go swimmingly well, and no question they're gonna. They have been in the past. There's no reason to think they won't. What's over the horizon? So there's a, a term that, uh, that Bruce used that I kind of want to use here, and that was latency, right? Um, but not latency necessarily in technologies and tools, but latencies in people and processes across our enterprise, the federal enterprise, right? We have to figure out a way to mount a singular defense and not 100 plus different lines of defense, right? We got to get faster. We have to be able to collaborate more effectively. We need to be able to mount a collective defense model, right? Because when we're fragmented, both in technology tools and processes, it takes us way too long to organize a, a pernicious threat that doesn't doesn't care about agency borders, right? They don't care of, of popping one agency. They're, they're looking to hit as many places as possible. And so we have to have a cohesive strategy to deal with that type of, a, of an attack. And, and right now, uh, we're not at a point where we can say, yes, I can coordinate amongst 102 different CISOs or different agency leaderships and mount a cohesive uh, response, right? And so, you know, to, to your point, Luke, I think over the next several years, and I think the EO sets us up well for this, we have to figure out a way to to operate at people at, at the speed of which we're being attacked. And that's a huge thing for CISA. So uh, that that's first in my mind, you know, to use a, a hopefully a euphemism that's too, too not far removed from the Olympics. Like this has to be a relay race and not 100 meter sprints, right? These have to be things where CISA can look at things uh, I'd help identify risks proactively, hand them off to agencies so they can go deal with the threat in a much more expeditious manner than we've ever done in the past. Um, hopefully the solar winds is kind of a, a, uh, a wake up call to something like that. Um, and so that's it, the people and processes, everything the other guests have said was also true, right? We have to have the right tools. They have to be trained up. They have to be operationalized. Um, they have to be stable, uh, but also let's not forget about the, the people and processes as well.